Hey guys, this is Mr. Stark here over at Porter Chester. What I want to do is prove to all you guys that the end of the line resistor absolutely belongs at the last device or the end of the line. And I'm going to show you through an experiment how a short circuit is not picked up when the resistor is in the panel. So what I did here is I've got two different experiments here. I've got each meter represents a panel and these are two different panels. So this panel here on the right shows a resistor that is actually wired at the panel. So you can see here I've got the resistor right at the meter at the end of a loop of door contacts, I'm sorry, window contacts. And if you trace them out, it's just simulating three window contacts in a loop in series and then they come back to the control panel which would monitor the resistance of the resistor which is somewhere in the range of 3.3 uh, 3,300 ohms. Now if you look here the resistor once again is at the panel. This particular one shows the same thing. Uh, the meter is represented, representative of the, as the panel and you've got another series loop of window contacts and if you come all the way down to the end you'll see the resistor is at the last device and it's wired in series with the device. And also notice in both paths, I skin the wire of both the black and the red and I'm gonna simulate a short circuit anywhere in the loop. So you can see, hopefully you can see that the wire is skinned and I took the insulation off so I could simulate a short circuit and once again here and there. Next thing I want to show you is an illustration of a picture. So this represents exactly what I have. Picture on the right represents the resistor at the panel. Resistor in the panel tied into the uh, return loop on the common and we're just showing how it would be kind of tied into the panel. And what I want to show you is right now these normally closed devices, which are what these window contacts are, are then wired in series back to the zone. Here's the other picture which represents the panel done correctly where the end of the line resistor is at the last device before it comes back to the panel. So let's take my little wire jumper right here and we're gonna keep that off to the side and we're gonna just see how this thing works when the windows open. So right now you can see that I got 3.25 ohms if I open the window, which I'm going to simulate by just pulling the magnet away, you'll see that it doesn't see the resistor anymore. And then the panel would go into alarm. So I'll put this back, and you can kind of see me sliding that back right here. Take it out, put it back in. And I could do the same thing for any one of these. Lost the resistor, let's put this back, and the resistor is back in sight. Now. Let's go over to the other side, same exact situation. The resistor's at the end of the line. It'll drop it out and we, it doesn't see the resistor once the magnet's pulled away because then that contact became normally open. And we can do the same thing for this and all the way down. So for lack of time, you get the point. It's supposed to go into alarm when that happens and it's supposed to see the resistor when the window then becomes closed. So now what we wanna do is show you that if I take this wire jumper and right here, the resistor is the one that's in the panel, which is not what's advised to do. And I'm going to take this and put it across these right here and short this out. And you'll see it still sees the resistor. But if I come over to the panel that has the resistor at the end of the line, which is this side, and I short this out, now you'll see it, didn't, it takes a different path, so it doesn't see the resistor anymore. Now let's go... So we can clearly see this again. If I go down to the one with the resistor in the panel, anywhere in the circuit where if I try to simulate a short circuit, it still sees the resistor. So you kind of have to see this on paper. So what happens here is if the resistor is at the panel side, and all I did is I just provided a jumper. This is where I put my copper wire. So when I took this wire, and put it across the two wires like this, that's the same as me doing this. So what happens is the electrons are gonna naturally take this path and it still sees the resistor because it's in the panel. 
So no matter where I put this jumper to bypass the circuit, pretend it's not here, they're still gonna take this circuit and see the resistor. But over here, when the, when the ELLO, the end of the line resistor is placed in properly, if I create a short circuit here, these electrons are gonna take the path of least resistance. They're gonna follow this path, which would bypass the resistor and go home and then and, and it won't see the resistor because it's gonna take this path. And then the panel's gonna go into alarm. Same thing here, if I put the wire jumper across here, it would then take this path less resistance and it would then not see the resistor and the panel would go into alarm so in summary once again anybody who's putting resistors in the panel well you're not supervising your panel effectively enough because if by chance there was a short circuit even way down here let's go all the way down here put my jumper across and you still see the resistor so anytime you put the resistor at the end of the line, any short circuit anywhere in the loop, and let's go right down here, let's come over to this jumper. It drops out the resistor because it just simply takes the path of least resistance. So those of you guys that are new understand that these electrons are traveling down a path. And if you bypass that path, they'll take that alternate path for sure. But in this case, when the end of the line resistor is in the panel, it's always gonna see the resistor because it always has to come back to that point. Whereas over here, when the end of the line resistor is at the end of the line or the last device, if a short circuit were to happen in the circuit, these electrons are gonna naturally take the path of least resistance and follow their path home. And you can clearly see in this experiment, no matter which path it takes, if there's a short circuit, it takes the path of least resistance bypassing the resistor at the end of the line. So once again, hopefully you got a little bit out of this if you're new, if you're an electrician, or if you're uh, you know, pretty strong with your uh, you know, electron flow. This is clear as day. End of the line does not belong in the panel. It belongs at the end of the line so that you can supervise a short circuit. Hopefully you enjoyed this, and we'll see you at the next video.